Hi, this is Prasenjit from Informatica GCS. Today I'm going to talk about how to create data exchange partner through Web Services Hub. So this is the data exchange DX console portal. I a console I have logged in. And uh, here generally we used to create a new partner using this button and so many options. So we will have one XML input and we will post it through Web Services Hub. So this is my admin console power center where I have already created one Web Services Hub. And this is the Web Services Hub URL where I have entered. Okay. I have, so basically I have installed a, a power center and the DX connected to it. Now I'll go to the server and uh, we need to import one of the workflow to achieve this requirement. So I have entered into the DX server. I go to the path DX installation home data exchange power center web services. So there I can see XML files. These are basically workflow uh, export XML which we need to import in power center uh, through repository manager so this is the xml workflow xml we are looking for which is dx ws tpm dot xml so i have already imported this workflow in repository manager so once i imported that particular workflow i can see three workflows are there in my folder so here for partner creation I will go with this workflow, workflow MDX TPM partner. Here is the mapping MDX TPM partner. So basically what we can see, uh, it has a partner transformation which is actually causing the partner details to be created in the X console. So this is, is the mapping. We have not touched anything in the mapping it is already uh, built and available in that DX data exchange power center web services folder. Now the next thing is we need to create a SOAP message which we need to post through web services hub. This is the SOAP message with partner details. See the partner and the account. So all these details are given. Contact information which was uh, which were required to create the partner in DX console so all these details along with DX username and uh, this SOAP message example can be found in the product document in the, uh, in the DX developer guide DX TPM partner creation operation you can find that example SOAP message so you can uh, use that particular SOAP message as a format and change the details as required. So let's log in into the Web Services Hub. Here is the Web Services Hub. Basically uh, the mappings are coming in valid Web Services list. Uh, the very first time when you exported and imported that workflow into the repository it should come inside that invalid web services so until unless you are assigning integration service to that particular workflow it would not come so here in the workflow manager i have already assigned the integration service for this particular workflow let me just show you once again So I can assign it again. This is the only workflow I need as of now. So once you save the workflow and the IS assignment is done, you need to go to the admin console and recycle the web services up. So I have recycled the web services up already and it is available. Let's go to the Web Services Hub 
and after that if you click on valid web service you can see these three mappings uh, workflow are listed there so as of now we are working with TPM partner so you can see the repository name the folder name the workflow name which you have where you have imported the domain name also coming there so let's go to post the message we'll click on try it here I can see DX TPM partner operation click on there so I have both the options form input and XML input so here in the form input you can to uh, select as create and provide the names and all the necessary required field as we have the XML input already available we can use it here so this is the basic one default you need to provide your details here so I have already available it's there so I will just delete this existing one and copy the one which I have prepared so just make sure uh, after copying pasting this I have one more extra line here so just make sure there is no new line uh, at the end of the XML so I just deleted one line and I will try send so it is showing success as message so web services hub has done it part to send the message to DX let's go to the DX console and see is the partner is getting created or not so here is the partner got created test partner name 7 so the description the date the contact details whatever we have used in our XML input it came here that account is also got created so this is how the partner is getting created in DX console using that web services hub here in the workflow which we have exported and imported here in the repository we don't need to use any connection and nothing because the partner transformation will do its part to connect to the TX and uh, create the partner so the example which I have shown it is in DX 10.2 and I have used power center 1011 HF2 you can try it in any of the version and uh, we have the product document available data exchange developer guide there you can search for TPM partner creation operation and you can get the steps thank you very much